Okay, we are live. I've got not much time. Just hang on. Yeah, load shooting at 8 is not the best for me, unfortunately, especially for tonight with regards to uh, how I want to go live and um, yeah, um, we only have very limited time tonight, guys. We have just more than a half an hour, and we've got to get through at least two chapters, um, so that we can just keep on track and, and not get too behind. Um, so yeah. All right. So welcome to those who are on right now. Uh, we're just going to wait a couple minutes, give us some more people in. We're going to pray and then get into some Bible reading that I know is truly, truly going to bless those who are here tonight. Amen. And I don't know much, uh, if there'll be much time for uh, too many prayer requests and questions, but um, there will still be time for that as well. Um, Hell God, welcome, man. I think you may have sent me a message. I still haven't gotten to you yet again, man. Sorry, man. I've been really, really, really busy today as well. Like, like I haven't had time to do much. Um, and I'm late again to the love because of all that I've uh, had to do. But anyway, uh, Shane, what's happening, man? How you doing, man? Long time no see. How's things your side? Wow, you got... Uh, I see some of your videos did very, very well, actually, Shane. So I see you've definitely uh, gotten over that 100k mark. It's probably been like that for a while, but well done on that, man. Big ups on that. That's pretty nice to see. Um, yeah, glory to God. Not a problem. Whenever you get time, it's okay. No worries. Thanks for understanding, Hell God. I appreciate it, man. I really will try to get to it because, uh, yeah. Jordan, what's your new live daily schedule? Greg, welcome to the live, man. Um, unfortunately, tonight we have load shooting at 8, so I'm unable to, to do a live later on, which I'd prefer to to rather go live at 8, you know. But um, there is uh, two live streams nowadays, um, one in the afternoon, which is uh, 3 p.m. Uh, Old Testament Bible reading, three chapters. And then the evening will be two chapters in the New Testament. Um, so yeah, that's that's really how it goes nowadays. But on, it just depends on on load shedding. Um, I know eventually we'll we'll get to that point. Perhaps in the future we don't have to worry about load shedding, but we'll see. Um, JD, welcome, welcome to the live. Thanks, my brother, and same to you, my brother. God bless you. Thank you, Shane. Yeah, all glory to God, man. All the followers. Uh, that follow us, you know, we just uh, give them to the Lord and say thank you, Father, for uh, the platform you've put me on to share love, to share light, to share the word of God, the gospel with people, to share Jesus with people. And so it's all for for his glory. Amen. So, yeah, well, thanks in you, JD. Um, Carl as well. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? All right, guys, let me pray for you. Let's pray over the, the Bible reading session, and then we will get straight into the Word of God before we run out of time. Hi, Nicole. Welcome to the live. That's cool, Amelia. I hope that uh, you're more comfortable now with moving things around. It's good to have a spring clean and kind of do that from time to time as well. So, yeah, cool. No worries. Let's pray, guys. And we'll get into the session tonight. Heavenly Father God, we come before you right now in Jesus' mighty name. We praise you, Father God. We praise you, Jesus. We ask you, Lord, to have your way on this love tonight. Even though it will be a short one, Lord, I just pray it will be a powerful one. That we will be able to soak in your word tonight and be blessed by it and have an increase of faith. Uh, in your word, Lord, that we are about to receive. And I pray, Holy Spirit, for wisdom and revelation and understanding to our hearts as we receive from the scriptures tonight. And I pray, Holy Spirit, for those who are struggling, 
for those who need help today that you would just love on them touch them heal them and comfort them in their hearts encourage them in their hearts tonight in jesus name we give you father god all the glory all the praise and honor in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen glory to god um cool stuff carl i'm well thank you by the grace of god um that's awesome jd that you in prayer always always in prayers is, is the best way to go um actually you know and wow yeah samuel welcome amen okay we just pray we pray against this pain in carl's arm we pray for healing to come to carl's arm right now for all pain to leave in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, be healed. Amen. Yes, it's good to have you, Samuel. Welcome. Applesauce, what's happening? Long time no see. I do apologize, guys, as we don't have any time to waste tonight. I have uh, got only so, such a little time left. Um, nonetheless, though, uh, there's going to be a good amount of... Uh, Bible reading to soak up tonight. So let's begin without further ado. Matthew chapter 7 is what we're going to read right now. And we're going to read chapter 8 as well. So let's, uh, let's go for it. Praise God. Judge not that you, be, uh, that you be not judged. For, for with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. And why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but do not consider the plank in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye, and look, a plank is in your own eye? Hypocrite, first remove the plank from your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pearls before the swan, lest they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you into pieces. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give you good things to those who ask him? Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets." Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to love, and there are few who find it. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits you will know them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. 
Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house. But it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. And so it was, when Jesus had ended these sayings, that the people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. You see, when Jesus came to this earth, the teachings he brought us was straight from the heart of the Father. It is how God wants us to know His kingdom. It's, it's directly from the one who created all things. It's directly from the, 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 the Lord Jesus Christ who has the best wisdom, who has the most wisdom. Amen. Who is the creator of wisdom. Amen. So this is it, guys. This is very good word. And, and, and don't look at the Bible in a way that, ah, well, you know, I'm not like that. Thank God I'm not like that. No, observe yourself carefully. Observe who you are portrayed. Observe the fruits that you produce. Are they good or are they bad? If they bad fruit, people will know you then by your bad fruits and then it you will have a certain name for yourself based on your fruit. Of course, it's not about us. So those who produce good fruit, give glory to God. Those who produce good fruit are the ones who obey the sayings and the words of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And, 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 and right then, uh, then again, we read about the very, very scary and important few scripture verses in Matthew 7 21 to 23 about those who won't make it into the kingdom of heaven they won't inherit eternal life because they didn't know Jesus they didn't listen to him they didn't do what he said they um, had sin in their life that they didn't repent of and because they uh, practiced lawlessness they had iniquity they they practice iniquity they practice lawlessness so we gotta we gotta uh, watch the word of God carefully and see where in our lives we can improve, and where in the Bible do we see ourselves? Do we see ourselves in a position that we need to um, change in that certain area? Do we see ourselves in a position that we are in this place? And these are the promises of God for those who are obeying the word of God, because of course there are many things in the word of God that we are doing right. For example, maybe you a very kind person and you just love, love your neighbor as yourself, right? That's beautiful. That's good. But then are you tithing? Are you, uh, uh, you doing your tithes and offerings? Are you uh, living a life of repentance? Are you fellowshipping with the Lord Jesus? There's, there's a lot of things that we can Put together and Jesus teaches us pretty much everything we need to know um, in the word as well so um, praise God um, everything we need to know is in the word amen anyway let's continue on to the last chapter tonight guys which is Matthew chapter 8 and then I'll put the chat back on for whatever time we have left to chat but um, there is unfortunately not too much time tonight we've got about 19 minutes left so let's see how much we can get through. Of course, we'll we'll finish the chapter, but we'll see how far we can get with the chat. Now, Matthew chapter 8. When he had come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, a leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. 
And Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one, but go, to, uh, but go your way, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home, paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled, and he said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. And I say to you that many will come from the east and west and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the sons of the kingdom will be cast out into utter darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way, and as you have believed, so, it be, uh, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that same hour. Now when Jesus had come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother lying sick with a fever. So he touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she arose and served them. When evening had come, they brought him many who were demon-possessed. And he cast out the spirits with a word, and healed all who were sick that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. And when Jesus saw great multitudes about him, he gave a command to depart to the other side. Then a certain scribe came and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Then another of his disciples said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. Now when he got into a boat, his disciples followed him. And suddenly a great tempest arose on the sea, so that the boat was covered with the waves. But he was asleep. Then his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us. We are perishing. But he said to them, Why are you fearful, O you of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. So the men marveled, saying, Who can this be that even the winds and the sea obey him? When he had come to the other side, to the country of the Gerasenes, there met him two demon-possessed men, coming out of the tombs, exceedingly fierce, so that no one could pass that way. Exceedingly fierce, so that no one could pass that way. And suddenly they cried out, saying, What have we to do with you, Jesus, you Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now a good way off from them, there was a herd of many swan feeding. So the demons begged him, saying, If you cast us out, permit us to go away into the herd of swan. And he said to them, Go. So when they had come out, they went into the herd of swan. And suddenly the whole herd of swan ran violently down the steep place into the sea and perished in the water. Then those who kept them fled, and they went away into the city and told everything, including what had happened to the demon-possessed men. And behold, the whole city came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to depart from their region. Alright guys, that is the end of Bible reading tonight, but just, I don't know about you guys, I just love 
the Gospels. Um, just what really has always struck me about this is that, you know, Jesus responded to the disciples in a way that was so amazing, so powerful, because he said, why are you fearful, O you of little faith? Um, he said, why are you fear? Why are you fearful? O you of little faith. Um, so you know what we need to, we need to take this word and put it in our hearts right now and say, listen, if Jesus is with you, what reason is there to be afraid, to worry, to panic? There's no reason for any of those things. Just trust Jesus. Why do we doubt Jesus? Why are we fearful? Why don't we just have faith to believe the Lord Jesus? And that's a good question we should all ask ourselves. There's no reason to fear. When I was standing in uh, this street in Cape Town, actually just on the sidewalk in Cape Town, and I was busy being robbed. I was done for in my own body, in my own ways, in my own ideas, in, in my own instinct. I was done for. And I just said, you know what? Um, I just trust Jesus. In my heart, I trusted Jesus. And I had peace. And everything was okay. And everything was restored to me that was stolen. Um, but, you know, when people are robbed, especially when especially at gunpoint there's a lot of fear that overtakes people's lives and they panic and they get fearful and they're like just please don't shoot me please don't shoot me you don't have to say anything in that in that way you don't have to think that in any way because you have faith in jesus you know jesus is with you and say worst case scenario you get shot and die you go to be with the lord jesus in any case not that that should happen not that that is going to happen and that didn't happen for me because god still has a plan for my life and and that's why if you trust jesus he will not let you go before your time you will be protected you'll be safe so that you can be fulfilled you can do the will of god for the rest of your life on earth but the moment you live for yourself you're leaving yourself vulnerable as well because if God can see that he, he cannot use you because you just want to do everything that you want to do and you don't want to do things God's ways, you, you're limiting God's flow in your life. You can still be saved and you can still repent and go to heaven, but um, there's also a high risk that you might not inherit eternal life because you didn't do the will of God. So that's why it's so important. We need the fear of the Lord. We need to uh, uh, know God's will. And the way we do that is by just trusting Him, praying, trusting Him, and doing what He's called us to do in this moment today. What is God telling you to do today? Perhaps God sent you to this live stream so that you can hear God's word. And that might be God's will for you in this moment but maybe in an hour's time God will speak to you and he would want to spend time with you maybe you can do your own Bible studying between you and God you can do your own prayer between you and God you can just decide to put on a worship song and start worshiping the Lord God and and obviously all these things can be done in your own choice as well but there's always a greater thing that God has for you at every given time like like if you get to a point where you're just bored and you don't know what to do, ask God what you should do. And he will tell you, say, Lord, okay, Lord, what should I do right now? And then he'll say, okay, you have some fun. Go go and have some fun with your friends or you, you can chillax, you can sleep, you can take a nap. Many times God will obviously allow us to do these things, but he, he wants to bless us so much, but he cannot bless us if we don't want him. He cannot bless us if we're not willing to accept Him and His ways and live according to His ways. But if we would seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, then all these things will be added to us. So anyway, guys, I hope you get what I'm saying. And 
I'm going to put the chat back on right now. So if you guys have any questions before the power cuts in about eight minutes or so, then you can let me know. Nonetheless, welcome to the live for those who have uh, joined in. Um, Fabs and uh, Lydia, thank you for the gifts. I appreciate that. And Richard, welcome back again, brother. How are you? Hi, Otamango. Welcome, welcome. I don't know who this is, but welcome to the love. Amen. Praise God, guys. Many thanks and many blessings to you, Jordan. Thank you, uh, uh, Diana. Is your name Diana? Diana Eve. Is that your name? I'm sorry if I'm getting it wrong, but thank you, Diana. God bless you. Um, God bless you, Otomango. Uh, Daniel, what's happening, man? Um, I think I know a few Daniels, or at least like one or two, but welcome, man. Uh, did you used to join the live? Uh, yes, it was a great word indeed. Richard, amen. God is real. Amen, Cody. Great stuff. Richard, glory to God. Um, good evening, Nella. Welcome. How are you? Uh, good day to you, uh, Channing. God bless you, man. Thanks for uh, the greeting. I'm well, thanks, man. How are you? Blessings, brother, and amen. Holly, God bless you so much. Amen. All right, guys, any prayer requests you might have, we still have a little bit of time. If you, if you need prayer, uh, just put your prayer request and be specific ask for prayer if you need prayer and be specific and if you have any questions then you can also just uh put that in the chat as well blessing you jordan keep it up hubs and i are praying for you for your ministry to grow and be fruitful i really appreciate that fabs you know it means a lot to be prayed for us as uh you know let me just say ministers of the gospel us as ministers of the gospel and we should all in a way minister but um you know we we need a lot of prayer um i don't know if you guys have heard of a, a story where uh an evangelist or a, a minister of the gospel and an, a, a man who walked in the power of god um he had such anointing on his life with the the supernatural and he had a person who prayed, an intercessor who prayed for this person. I think you guys know who I'm talking about. Some of you, I can't think of his name now. Um, I don't know if it was Smith Wigglesworth, but it could have been someone else. Uh, it could have been Finney, Charles Finney. I don't know. Anyway, um, when his intercessor died, his ministry stopped. So he didn't flow in the supernatural like he did when his intercessor was alive and praying for him so prayer is so important so powerful and when when you have a minister minister is not alone we are, we are doing this together and it's really powerful so thank you for that um yeah if you have a prayer request let me know uh much love to you as well god bless you uh, you too, JP. God bless, man. Uh, Self-aware, welcome. God bless you. Uh, yes, we definitely do need those prayers as ministers. 100% fabs. It really is good. Uh, disabled and live on a fixed income. I need healing and financial blessing. All right. Great, great opportunity to pray for Channing, guys. And I don't want to also be alone in praying for Channing so if you would guys come together agree with me as we pray for Channing um, for breakthrough in his life let's pray father God we pray for Channing right now we pray father God for breakthrough financially and physically we pray for healing to come to him Lord let it let it be done in your perfect way in your perfect timing and that it will be used for your glory as a mighty testimony Lord I pray in Jesus name for your will to be done in Channing's life, that you'd use him as he is, Lord, for your glory and everything that you've called him to be 
everything you've called him to do on this earth. I just pray that that will be done in his life, Father. And I pray that you would uh, bring favor to him and increase him, Lord, for your glory, for his uh, finances to be blessed, Father, in Jesus' name. And we thank you that you will take care of his needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray and we, we thank you in advance, Father, for a testimony from this prayer. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed, Channing. Just receive that by faith, man. And we are all here praying for you, praying with you. Amen. Uh, Emilio, you know what? Um, I would say yes, I am basically in full-time ministry right now as I don't work for a boss. I don't have a job uh, that pays a salary. I, I, my job is this. My job is pastoring, counseling, that kind of stuff as well. And it's really just something that god has called me to do not not based on actually what i had in mind growing up i did not have this in mind growing up i had pro, pro, professional golf in mind i had big dreams to travel the world pro, and and play golf i even only just even last year was supposed to be in america right now working for a, a golf country club um in in golf um what's the word like the golf department um and uh you know what god god allows things not to happen for a reason you know so all glory to god man um and you know what i'm just here to do what god has called me to do because my ways are not god's ways our ways are not god's ways amen uh and god deserves all the glory um so also another person saying i pray in public is the same as solitude so yeah um you know when when jesus teaches us to pray he teaches us to pray the lord's prayer that is between us and god and it's so that we cannot boast um when we when we pray for people we pray in their hearing so that they can uh receive by faith they can hear and by faith receive um, many times in the Bible there are public prayers that are prayed um, but when it comes to your prayer time when it comes to your intimacy with God don't make it known to everyone that you are so holy because you spend five hours a day with God in prayer but it's it's really just between you and God and, and praying in secret uh, in the secret place. It's just you and God. And that is that is how Jesus teaches us to pray. And obviously praying the Lord's Prayer is is what Jesus teaches how Jesus teaches us to pray as well. So yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God, Diana. Amen. God bless you, Channing. Um public prayer certainly encouraged by jesus and 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 there it is jade you know like a lot of people um misunderstand the word of god but definitely i'm glad you um you understand that as well and and that, you know it's just about dividing the word correctly you know by the way guys it is 8 p.m right now and, and load shedding is going to kick in at, uh, kick in at any time right now so I love you guys and I appreciate you joining. If the live just cuts out, you know, it's load shedding. Um, I just want to pray a blessing of you right now that may the peace of Jesus be with you guys. May he bless you. May he bring you favor and that God's will be done in your life in Jesus name. Amen, guys. Amen. Please pray for me, beloved. I have not received my company number and clock card and others, please. Okay. Thank you, Father God, for uh, JP. We just pray, Lord, for every and any situation that's going on in his life right now, that you would just um, bring it to peace and, and fix everything that is broken and that everything will be sorted in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you too, Jade. Thanks, man. 
Yeah, and thank you, Lord, for that company number. We call it in for JP in Jesus' name. Amen. And uh, yeah, pray any way you decide God is listening. Amen, Jade. Amen. And to add on to what Jade is saying is to pray in faith. You know, when the Bible says, the, the Bible says when you pray, uh, you must you must believe that God is. You must believe that God exists, that He is there and He is listening. Um, and then when you pray, you pray in faith and God hears your prayers. Amen. For without faith, it's impossible to please God. Absolutely, Jade. Praise God. Uh, sometimes we feel lost because God is leading us in unfamiliar places. Wow. That is really well said. Channing, thanks for saying that. That is so true. I've seen that in my own life as well. And I know perhaps some of you guys can also testify to that. Um, yes, self-aware. God knows what we need before we ask Him. But the thing is, we literally just read in Matthew 7, I think it is, that asking you shall receive god would not tell us to ask if he would just give everything to us that's why we have to ask him and we have to we we have to be in line with his will so that we can see the goodness of god flow we can see the blessings that come from the hand of god um, and it's blessings really we don't even deserve it's just we ask uh, 